Okay, that sounds interesting. Can you uh, give us examples of uh, these experiments? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, um, for example, we did one trial in the in a U.S. experimental center in standard condition. So it was a 42-day experiment to evaluate the effect of Alterion, so on growth performance, but also on microbiota parameters. So it was a cub, uh, 500 male brawlers, um, and fed corn with a corn-soybean-based um, diet. And we had two groups, so a control group and uh, Alterion groups. So the dose of Alterion was at uh, 1.10 to the 8 CFU per kilogram. And we measure the performance parameter, so body weight gain, feed intake, and F FCR. And on performance, the results show a significant improvement of body weight gain, about 5.7%, and also a significant improvement of FCR, about 5.4%. So um, we also collected digestive contents and tissue for metagenomics and morphology analysis. And the comparison of gut community at sicker level shows seven significant uh, genus level difference between the two groups. Um, among the most important difference, Rhymunococcus and Lacnoclostridium were increased in treated birth versus control. And this genera are known uh, to have an important role in the breakdown of polysaccharides and their activity uh, to the production of butyrate, an important microbial metabolite to promote mm -hmm. gut health. Yeah, I remember Professor Philippe Van Immersel told uh, talk mm -hmm. about uh, the, the benefits of the butyrate in the yes. microbiota. Exactly, mm -hmm. yes. So, um, in the same experiment, we also looked what could be the impact on digestive function. Uh, we took samples from birds uh, of this experiment and we did morphological observation. And so uh, that we observed that is uh, microvilli were longer in ileum and cecum for birds which receive alterion. And with alterion, we measure an increase of villi 8 by 20% in ileum and also by 17% in cecum. So this result suggests an increase in surface of absorption, and this may explain the improvement of feed efficiency uh, shown previously. Mm -hmm. So uh, it means that the improvement in the performance is only due to uh, to the improvement of the surface of absorption in the nutrients. Yes, yes, and uh, and a good a good health statue is also important mm -hmm. for for good performances. Uh, we know that intestinal inflammation is the stress under which the epithelial barrier function is compromised. So, in addition to the measurement of microvilli, as we just seen before, we also investigated the effect of alterion on epithelial barrier function. To do this, we use the intestinal CACO2 cells model. So, in this model, human CACO2 cells line are established in a transwell system mimicking enterocyte layer of the intestinal. In this experiment, we assess the paracellular permeability, which is in fact the, the transport that can occur between two enterocytes by measuring transepithelial electrical resistance and paracellular fluxes of demanitol. This data give uh, are important to evaluate the intestinal barrier integrity. Okay, so in fact, you've uh, kind of recreated uh, mm -hmm. half a small intestine to, yes. to see if there were a transfer between the top and the... Exactly, yes. The lumen and the, and the tissues. So, um, first, we did this experiment in standard conditions. So, that we saw is uh, that Alterion is able to increase demanital fluxes and TUR, and significantly for this last parameter. This indicates that Alterion not only is able to maintain intestinal barrier integrity, but it can also improve it, as we saw with the significant increase of TER. And secondly, this experiment was conducted in stimulated condition, where the disruption of the intestinal barrier is induced by an inflammatory compound, the TNF-alpha. Mm. As you can see, the use of TNF-alpha significantly reduced TER and increased demanital fluxes, indicating that the enterocytes layers have been effectively disrupted. So, in this condition, when we add alterion, TER and demanital fluxes are maintained. 
So with this experiment indicate that Alterion is able to prevent intestinal barrier disruption in case of inflammatory stress. Mm -hmm. And uh, Professor Tao Newald uh, explained us that uh, controlling inflammation is mm -hmm. important to have a good performance. Yes, exactly. And um, in addition to that you said, we also showed in another experiment that Alterion is able to reduce pro-inflammatory cytokine. So in this study, we use the same CACA2 cells model adapted uh, to measure the EL8 production, which is a chemokine involved in inflammation in response to the pro-inflammatory cytokine EL1 beta. So, as expected, EL1 beta induced inflammation as shown by an increase of EL8 production. And in this study, we use EGCG, which is a polyphenol, and uh, no for its anti inflammatory properties. Uh, so, as you can see on this picture, Alterion was able to significantly reduce EL8 level, reaching the same level than the positive control used here indicating that Alterion has the capacity to reduce intestinal inflammation. So, so with this experiment, you managed to demonstrate that Alterion uh, reduced uh, the inflammation, so that's good for performance. Yes. yes. In addition, so Alterion is able to improve intestinal barrier integrity, as we saw before. Mm -hmm. And all these beneficial characteristics are key to maintain an optimal gut health status and certainly explain at least partially better in vivo performance. Mm -hmm. Thank you, uh, Dr. Jackie, for Welcome. all this uh, explanation.